Mariela Castro Espin, a gay rights activist and daughter of Cuba's President Raul Castro, in the U.S. this week, where she was a guest at a conference on gay issues in San Francisco and later toured a gay community center there. She took a few moments to rip the U.S. embargo against Cuba and blame it on anti-Castro exiles in Miami whom she called mafia extremists. Homosexuality was repressed for many years under communist rule in Cuba and was considered counter-revolutionary. That policy was only relaxed back in the 1980s. Cuba has not yet legalized gay marriage, but Castro Espin has been actively pushing for it as head of Senesex, the Cuban National Center for Sex Education. Castro also took time to talk to members of the gay, lesbian, and bisexual community in Northern California, where she talked about gay rights. We can't analyze transsexualism without that historical context, because some Cuban transsexuals have immigrated to the United States, hoping to find the American dream, believing they would find big breasts in the U.S., believing that here they would receive sexual reassignment surgery. For them to achieve this, some of them have told lies against Cuba and my organization, Senesex, because they consider that being politically correct in order to have all the privileges and attention they need in the United States. That's our story. Thanks for watching. From Bogota, I'm Brian Andrews. Remember, we cover fashion, lifestyle, culture, and travel from all over the Americas right here. If you take a moment to become a fan of our Facebook page, Brian Andrews NTN24. And if you're on Twitter, so am I. Follow me, at Brian Andrews.